Greetings, fellow seekers. I'm Michelle Belanger. Maybe you've seen me on Paranormal State, Portals to Hell, Conjuring, Kesha, a whole bunch of other shows. I am a psychic medium on television, but what you might not know is I am a psychic vampire. In fact, I wrote the book on it. I am a founding member of the modern vampire community, and I'm here to take you on quite a ride. Get into the core of yourself. Expand your awareness. We decided when we created this team that we didn't want to be banishers. We don't want to banish entities. We don't want to send them to the light. Our job is to go in and make contact with them the best we can and learn everything we can about them. Is there anything non-human on this land? Yes. There's been a being hovering over you, like right in front of Aubrey this whole time. With one hand on the planchette. It might be a good night to see if you can't see lights in the sky. I was getting the phrase, look up, look up, look up. Can't really see anything else in the sky. But Except that one light. Any of the other like, what's going on? Look. Something in there's going on. I don't know if I've ever had a situation where that many things have gone off at one time. Everything from EMF to spirit box and REM pod all going off here and my name coming out of a spirit box over and over again. I mean, that's what every paranormal investigator wants. I'm Fenelon Kush and I'm a paranormal investigator and host of Follow the Woo podcast. About a year ago, I put together a team of vampires, witches, psychics, paranormal researchers, and filmmakers to create a different kind of paranormal show. Together, we created two new shows. That's right, two all original paranormal TV shows with unlimited potential. Our first show is a paranormal investigation show where we journey to locations with reports of high strangeness and investigate those places through an intersectional lens. I've actually seen ghosts my entire life. It is just my way of interacting with the world. It's normal. Uh, we ended up here because Megan has had a lot of weird activity here, up to and including goats going missing out of a locked pen at night. There's been full body apparitions. There's been lights in the forest captured on camera. There's weird footprints. There's all the weird, literally all of it. I just live here. <laughs> <laughs> there is an energy sort of towards the left. It doesn't feel great, to be honest, but I'm still not, like, scared. I would describe myself as an energy reader, tarot reader. I think mystic. There's something about a situation with the daughter and the, and the priest where something wasn't fair, something wasn't right and someone is still upset about it. Do you want me to tell you what each of them is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they've all got a story. But sometimes you're there for the humans who own the space. Maybe it is an entity, or maybe it's just an energy that needed to be released. I think something that's been really interesting to me is how connected all of these experiences were. The connections between the ghosts and fey and alien things. I was kind of just interested in how weird it could get. Oh fuck, are the doors locked? I'm freaked yeah, out. Yeah. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm fucking leaving. And everything ended up feeling so much weirder than I thought it would. Our second show is a deep dive into a paranormal journey, taking us unexpected places, like the intersection between the paranormal, the occult, and modern vampires. If I were a vampire, would it be that bad? You have no sort of frame of reference for anything that's happening, so your body doesn't know how to react to anything yet. Really early on in the vampire community, there was a sort of urban legend of a ritual where you could turn someone into a vampire. Mm -hmm. People would have awakening mm -hmm. experiences, yeah. like these, these bursts of, of inspiration, uh, initiatory experiences, that yeah. feeding is an initiatory experience. We don't trust it. What don't we trust? This whole study. You don't trust us? 
happens when we don't have an easy normative story to be like, I'm an ordinary person. What do I call myself because I'm not like all these other people? Almost everybody that I know who identifies as a vampire is neurodivergent. I'm in like an exceptionally vulnerable position and I don't trust all of you here. Who's gonna have my back? Like, I don't know. I know you will. There's a void in the world of paranormal TV. As the only openly intersex person working in paranormal television, part of my mission is to make this space more inclusive and diverse. We're doing this independently so that we don't have to play by anyone else's rules. We want to be able to tell our story our way. The freedom to just be as authentic and messy and weird as we really are. Let's make the paranormal queer again. So we're turning to Kickstarter to make this happen. We're asking for $66,666 to bring these shows to fruition. It's the amount we need to make two full seasons of this show. We already have over 100 hours of footage and we know how to make this happen. Your contributions will go toward finalizing the footage, editing the finished product and getting it out there to you. We can't do it without you, and we want to make sure that it is as best as it can be. So come and join us. Here's to wonder and magic and mystery and all of those strange 3 a.m. conversations you never thought you would have with your friends. Join us on this journey and help us make it reality. Welcome, New Blood. 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 Welcome, new blood.